Hi, welcome to my channel Yanam Takshasila. In this new video, I am going to solve a mathematical problem under analytical geometry. So the problem is prove that the circles x square plus y square minus 4x plus 6y minus 112 equal to 0 and x square plus y square minus 10x minus 6y plus 14 equal to 0 touch each other. So here what you need to show whether they touch each other internally or externally. How to do that? So they have given two circle equations. From each circle equation you need to find the center and radius. So from first equation of circle we will find the center C1 and R1 by comparing that equation with the general equation of circle. Similarly for second equation also we will find the center C2 and radius R2. And then after that you need to find the distance between C1 and C2. See that the value of that distance is equal to either sum of radii or difference of radii. From that you can conclude that the given two circles touch each other either externally or internally. So let us go to the solution. So solution first you need to write the given equ two equation circles. So what I have given in the problem. So given x square plus y square minus 4x plus 6y minus 112 equal to 0. So number this equation number 1. Similarly write the second equation. What is the second equation given? x square plus y square minus 10x then minus 6y plus 14 equal to 0. Number this second equation. So as I told you before from first equation you need to find the values of g1, f1 and c1 and from those you need to find the center c1 and r1. So compare equation 1 with the general equation of circle. So what is general equation of circle? So what is general equation of circle? General equation of circle is x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equal to 0. So compare equation 1 with that equation. So we will get 2g1 equal to minus 4, 2f1 equal to 6 and c1 equal to minus 112. So from this you will get g1 equal to minus 4 by 2 upon cancellation using 2 table. You will get g1 equal to minus 2 and here f1 equal to 6 by 2 upon cancellation you will get by using 2 table. So you will get 3. So f1 equal to 3. So you got the values of g1, f1 and c1. So from this what is center c1? C1 is as we know the formula minus G1 comma minus F1. What is minus G1 here? G1 value is minus 2 so minus minus will be plus and F1 value is 3 so minus 3. So this is C1. Just put it in the box and after that you need to find the value of R1. So what is R1 here? So R1 equal to square root of G1 square plus F1 square minus C1. So square root of what is g1? g1 is minus 2 square plus f1 is 3 square and c1 is minus so minus minus plus 112. So just what is minus 2 square? 4, 3 square is 9 so 112. What is 112? 112 plus 4, 116 plus 9, 125. So root 125. So how to do this? r1 equal to, now you can write this 125 as 25 into 5. So how to root 25? 25 is nothing but 5 square. So take 5 out. So R1 equal to 5 root 5. So just put it in the box. So you got the values of C1 and R1. So again from second equation again find the values. Compare, compare equation 2 with general equation of circle. So again compare that and find the values of G2, F2 and C2. So 2G2 equal to, what is 2G2 here? Minus 10 and 2F2, what is that? Minus 6 and what is C2? C2 is 14. So from this, we will get G2 equal to minus 10 by 2 upon cancellation. We will get by using 2 table, we will get minus 5. So here F2 upon cancellation, we will get by using 2 table f2 equal to minus 3. So you got the values of g2, f2 and c2. 
Now from this also you need to find the values of C2 and R2. So what is C2? C2 is minus G2 comma minus F2. So what is minus G2? G2 is minus 5. So minus minus plus 5 and F2. F2 is minus. So this plus 3. So this is C2. Just put it in the box. Okay. After that you need to find the value of R2. So R2 how you get? Root G2 square plus F2 square minus C2. So this is equal to what is G2 here? G2 is minus 5. So minus 5 whole square. Now F2 square. What is F2? Minus 3. So minus 3 whole square. What is C2? C2 is plus 14. So minus 14. So you will get 5 square is 25 plus 3 square is 9 minus 14. So what is 25 plus 9? 34 minus 14 is 20. So root 20. 20 can be written as 4 into 5. So how you can write 4? 4 is 2 square. So take 2 out. So R2 equal to 2 root 5. Okay. So you got the values of C1 and C2. After this what you need to find? Distance between C1 and C2. So what is the distance between C1 and C2? Use the distance formula. What is the distance formula? Square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. Now take this C1 as x1 y1 and C2 as x2 y2. What is x1 value here? x1 is 2. What is x2 value here? 5. So root 5 minus 2 whole square plus and here y1 value is minus 3 and y2 value is 3. So we get 3 minus so minus minus plus 3 whole square. So this will be 5 minus 2 square is 3 square. 3 plus 3 is 6 square. So we will get what is 3 square? 9 plus 6 square is 36. So 36 plus 9, 45. How to write 45? You can write 45 as 9 into 5. So 9 into 5. So that 9, what is 9? 9 can be written as 3 square. So take 3 out. So you will get C1, C2 equal to 3 root 5. So now we have to check whether this C1, C2 equal to sum of 2 radius or difference of radius. So what is R1? R1 is 5 root 5. And what is R2? R2 is 2 root 5. Just add that, we will get R1 plus R2 is 7 root 5, which is not equal to 3 root 5. Then what you do? Just subtract. Take the large number. So R1 minus R2. So 5 root 5 minus 2 root 5, you will get 3 root 5, which is equal to this. So you can do the difference. So R1 minus R2 equal to what is R1 value? That is 5 root 5 minus what is R2? R2 is 2 root 5. So you get 3 root 5, which is nothing but this is equal to C1, C2. So what is the conclusion? Therefore, C1, C2 equal to R1 minus R2. So from this result, what you can conclude? We can conclude that the given two circles touch each other internally, not externally, because it is equal to the difference of radii. You can say that they touch each other internally. So we can conclude that therefore, the given two circles touch each other internally this is what we should remember okay so if you want to do problems of this kind i have given you a link in the description please click on that link and this video is mostly useful to the polytechnic and engineering students if you like my video please subscribe my channel for further updates thank you for watching my video